I could go on and on. Um, I'm getting carried away. It's another, another great Who song that I wanted to go over. Uh, My Generation from their first album, My Generation, 1965. So I gotta be honest, guys, you know, lately I've been playing a lot more electric guitar. Uh, because the last few years I've been doing mainly just acoustic stuff, which I, you know, I love the acoustic, but um, I wanted to do some Who and some, you know, some grungier stones and, you know, a little more electric rock and roll. So I picked up this Strat a couple days ago. Um, I have my telly and I have an Epiphone. So I'm going to play, you know, some more electric stuff. And this is something that, you know, I've always played this song like wrong, and I think a lot of people play this song wrong. Um, because like the way I played it before, in the very beginning, you know, you're going from uh, G to F, and a lot of times people will play like power chords, like this. And that doesn't sound bad. But if you listen closely, you know, you can hear the open strings. Uh, and what, what Pete is actually doing is he's only playing the low note on the uh, low E string. But you're going to mute the A string, and you're playing, along with that low note, you're playing the D and the G, G strings. So going from the G to the F sounds like this. <laughs> And that sounds really, really full and really, really good, I think. Um, I mean, you could play power chords or like, like these octave chords. And that doesn't sound bad, but that's not what Pete's doing. I mean, I can hear those open strings in there. Um, all right, so that's um, the first couple sets of verses you're going to be um, doing, doing these chords. Uh, People try to put us down Just because we get around Two more lines. I die before I get old for the chorus, he's going to do something like this. <laughs> so did you catch that? That's You're playing a G chord with your ring finger and your pinky covering the low and the high note. Um, you're going to first strum it openly and add your first finger. You're going to form this shape, which is you're going to add your pinky to the third fret of the B, while your first finger is going to be at the first of the high E. Okay, so you're starting with the G chord, open G chord, add your first finger, add that shape, and go back to with your first finger doing that suspension. Okay. with the G chord um, then it goes into you know another set of verses so four more lines of that and um, the well, chorus again now it's going into the the bass solo um, and uh, when you know the when the bass when each time it breaks you know Pete will throw in a little lick uh, so like there are four little little licks that he throws in so the first one would be um, uh, so bending like at the third fret of uh, let's see the G and the B strings and then go to this note and just stay on it. Um, uh, fifth fret of the D string. So, and then the second time 
he's doing something like this. I can't really do that flurry that fast, but you're doing the um, this shape. Well, there are two different ways you can play it on the top three strings. Or the top four, it'll sound a little fuller. Alright, so that's the second lick. Third lick, he goes, he does something like this. So you're bending at the fifth fret, G and the B strings. Bend it up and then bring it back down. Finish um, with a little minor bend on the third fret. So that's the third lick. The fourth lick, he does something like this. All right, so slowly it would be. Now it modulates up to A. Why don't you all fade away? <laughs> okay, so now you're, you're going to be going from A to G, um, but really you're just going to you're going to keep playing the A chord and add your uh, second finger to the 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 G note, which is you know third fret of the low E string. Um, uh, so that's what you're doing for for that next set of verses, uh, like an A to A with a G bass. I'm trying to cause a. Oops. Talking about my now it's gonna modulate up to B flat. Try to put us down. does that four times in the you know, last set of verses. And then when you're getting to the chorus, uh, this is my generation. So you're playing this shape and you're adding suspension. Um, you're strumming it like. Finally, it goes up to C, and I love this change, okay? So did you see what I did there? Um, when you play, this is a C power chord. When I uh, add my ring finger to the fifth of the G and add my pinky to the sixth of the B, that's an F chord. It's a different way to play an F chord. So he's going from the C power chord to the F. And sometimes he'll lift his um, ring finger do something like that.
So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And um, I hope that that helps you to play it um, more accurately, you know? Because like I said, I, I was doing it wrong for the, for the longest time myself. Uh, but I think that's, I think that's the right way to do it, guys, all right? I hope that is helpful to you guys. Take care.